As a lot of you may know, one of my heroes, professionally speaking at least, is Professor John Lott of the Crime Prevention Research Center, formerly of Duke University and the University of Chicago. Uh, I really kind of started getting into the gun control debate on an intellectual basis when I read John's, uh, one of his first, first works was uh, More Guns, Less Crime. Uh, one of my favorite books. It's just so well-researched and so clearly presented that it's just it just very clearly makes the argument uh, in an unlosable argument that we're on the right side of this thing. At any rate, I don't know if you saw this in this week's news items, but Professor John Lott made a very public offer to bet $1,000. And by the way, he could afford to bet a lot more than that and get a lot more attention if some of you deadbeats out there would donate money to the Crime Prevention Research Center. So let's, let's pick it up a little bit. He offered to bet $1,000 with about a group of, I believe, 12 academics all around the country, very uh, outspoken pro-gun control, not pro-gun, pro-gun control advocates that write in academic journals, offered to bet each and every one of them $1,000 uh, based upon the outcome of the statistics of the crime rates in the country of Brazil. Brazil's undergone a real phase shift with regard to gun politics of late. Their former pro-gun president, a gentleman named Bolsonaro, was very pro-gun, had opened up most of the anti-gun laws that they had in Brazil. As a result of that, during his term, gun possession increased by a whopping 600% in the country of Brazil, which of course saw a dramatic decrease in the crime rate, which corresponded with that increase in the rate of gun ownership. Well, the new president that just got into office in Brazil is a leftist socialist named Lula, Lula has seen fit to basically outlaw gun sales across the entire country. Guns and ammunition can no longer be legally bought in the country of Brazil. He's also eliminated the right to carry concealed weapons. Uh, he's eliminated the ownership of more than three firearms by any individual. So these really draconian anti-gun laws are now back in effect in this country of Brazil. John Lott said, well, if all of the data that you anti-gun academic scholars have been presenting is true, and if actually more guns and more access to guns increases the crime rate, then clearly this new political change in the country of Brazil should dramatically decrease the crime rate. So he made a bet if the homicide rate two years from now is higher than it was now, he will pay $1,000 to each of these academics. If the crime rate is static or if it increases, Professor Lott wins. Uh, interestingly, out of 12 people selected at random across the spectrum, not one single person took the bet. By the way, Professor Lott also offered to make the bets payable to anyone's chosen charity. No takers whatsoever. Hmm. I found that to be pretty interesting. If you do as well, click like below. Stay safe. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one of these shorts. Take care. Bye-bye.